Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the good news is in, ladies and gentlemen, the good news. Yes, Donald Trump's running in 2024. It's going to be fun. You know it. We know it. And I think he could be back on Twitter soon. So stick around and listen. We're going to talk about that on the report from Tiger Mountain. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump is back. He's announced officially that he's running in 2024. So, you know, he's upset the uh, the liberals in America once again uh, with his announcement. I think that the elites just don't want him. For whatever reason, Donald Trump upsets the elites. And I don't think he's a complete enemy of the elite class because he comes from it. He's a billionaire and he's from the billionaire globalist class. But he sort of is kind of anti-globalist in many of the things he says. And for whatever reason, he clearly upsets them because they seem to get apoplectic when the mention that he's running again comes, comes up. But still, I think it's interesting. And obviously the other major contender for the Republican candidate in 2024 is Ron DeSantis. Now, Ron DeSantis is a, a very based um, kind of, um, you know, traditional old school kind of guy from uh, Florida. Um, I often watch his videos online and some of his speeches. He seems fantastic. He didn't believe in all the COVID bullshit. He didn't shut down Florida. He makes very base comments. He's anti all this um, kind of like, you know, uh, identity theory and teaching children about transgender nonsense, all this stuff. So he makes lots of base comments. I think ideally, uh, obviously, because they are both kind of, I guess, you know, jockeying to win the, the candidacy, um, this criticism, they've been criticizing each other. Ideally, uh, you would probably have a DeSantis Trump um, kind of would run together. I think Trump w uh, should be, you know, run for president with DeSantis vice president. I think you couldn't get a better ticket than that. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's very interesting. I think one of the reasons that uh, Donald Trump was thrown under the bus is that there are Republicans who are corrupt and that they are part of the cabal um, just as much um, as, you know, the Democrats who he's fighting. People like Mitch McConnell um, and people like that were not going to stand up and fight for Trump because they were part of the corruption and the, you know, systemic um, kind of cabal, um, you know, that's existed in Washington for many, many years, the deep state, whatever you want to call it. So I think, you know, the problem with Trump running again is that, um, you know, that cabal hasn't gone away. So how is he going to effectively be, you know, be able to fight them? And also we saw that when Donald Trump was in office, when he won, uh, you know, he was effective in certain things. He's obviously a hundred times better than Biden, but there was many things he couldn't do. Ron DeSantis, um, seems to be maybe a, ma a man of more decision. He said he would do things like call out the army. You know, um, if there was, um, you know, the kind of shenanigans that have been going on, which is, I think, what Donald Trump should have done during the Black Lives Matter. He should have called out the, the army. Um, you know, I mean, you know, if you are going to fight the cabal, there needs to be a serious um, kind of political revolution in America where I believe, personally, the army needs to get involved. And if the army has been corrupted by the globalists, well, you know, I mean, essentially the globalists will have won, at least for now, until maybe there's some kind of, um, you know, jockeying for position within the army itself. So, you know, I mean, I, while I am interested in Trump running, I think it'll be a lot of fun. The effectiveness of it, um, you know, I, I really don't know. Maybe Trump could pull it off. I do think dissatisfaction with Biden will be off the charts. So how effective will a, uh, um, you know, a run for the, um, a run for the uh, White House be from Donald Trump a second time around? And this is another thing, this is a terrifying thought, ladies and gentlemen, but I, I do have to discuss it. Uh, is Donald Trump controlled opposition? People have mentioned this to me. David Thrustle has been one of them. I don't believe he is. I believe he's the, the real deal. But, you know, you, you can be the real deal and still sort of be manipulated like... You know, like, is Donald Trump some kind of creation of a, of a kind of, of the deep state itself, um, you know, to kind of like work out who the people who are really, you know, patriotic to America are so that they can be sidelined. You know, you saw this a lot with the people who demonstrated on January the 6th. Many of them were arrested. Many of them are still sitting in jail cells. So this is a terrible situation America is in. I do support Donald Trump running. I think it'll be very interesting to see what DeSantis does. I mean, Kanye West has said he's going to throw his hat into the ring. I mean, can you imagine a Donald Trump Kanye West ticket? That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? You know, I mean, that'd be based as all get out. Still, I mean, I still think regardless, um, Trump running will be interesting. Um, uh, and, you know, as I said, I don't fully buy that he is controlled opposition. I think he is the real deal. And, you know, I still think it's, it's always good to go down swinging rather, you know, I mean, I mean, how the hell did they elect Joe Biden? The guy didn't campaign, the guy sat in his basement and he got 81 million votes. 
That's, eight, you know, like 8 million more votes, 10 million more votes than Barack Obama, who I didn't like, but he was one of the greatest campaigners the Democrat has had since JFK. He was an excellent campaigner, a fantastic speechmaker, Barack Obama, and he got 71 million votes. How the hell did Joe Biden, who stayed in his basement, who could hardly put two sentences together, get more votes than Barack Obama? It's patently ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. So there it is. Uh, they're my thoughts on Donald Trump running in 2024. I'm, I'm supportive of it, but we're going to have to just, um, you know, um, sit around and watch this clown world as it goes down the Googler, ladies and gentlemen. And there it is, my thoughts on the 2024 election.